everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm going to be switching out my perfume tray these were the ones that were on the tray for february i enjoyed them so much i think i had maybe like one or two declutters and then i finished off a perfume completely which was max aquatic we are done with that one so i'm not going to repurchase that one instead i will be using this one up and seeing which one performs better so if you would like a deeper review for the fragrances that were on the tray for february i do have update videos on my channel for weeks one and two i give you updates on the fragrances that i wore those two weeks and then weeks three and four where i do the same and i give way longer deeper reviews for the fragrances so that these perfume tray videos can be quick and to the point so let's go ahead and let's empty out the tray and we're going to start talking about the fragrances that are going to be on the tray for march <laughs> All right, so we have an empty tray. I have a mix of everything for this month's perfume tray. I have stronger fragrances. I have a lot more spring fragrances. I even have travel sizes that I want to have for the month of March. So I'm going to get right into it. The first one I'm going to put on the tray, I'm gonna have to hide it somewhere. <laughs> it's going to be Ariana Grande's Mod Blush. I am just falling in love with this one. I did declutter the Mod Vanilla. It was a little bit boring in my opinion. And when I say boring, I don't mean bad. I just didn't feel the need to keep that one because it didn't really speak to me, but it it does have beautiful notes in it but this one it just has something to it and i really really adore the opening and it just brings me back to my childhood for some reason so i just want to keep smelling it all right so i'm excited for this tray because i've been noticing that a lot of fragrances that i wore maybe like a year or two ago are no longer as good as they used to be when I smell them now. So I do have a lot of favorites that are going to go up on the tray from last year and I can't wait to wear them this year to see if I'm still loving them just as much or if my interest in them is kind of like mm, went down. So here is one that I raved about so much when I started YouTube. It was just like a very special perfume because I was getting used to the weather here and it being tropical and I remember this was released and it was perfect for the weather here it was just perfection in that moment and this is Dylan turquoise and I just love the bottle I love the perfume itself I don't know why I decided to get 3.4 ounce bottle it's taking me forever to get a dent in here but this one is beautiful for springtime for summertime it's a citrus fresh aquatic scent and there's guava in here so that's what makes it even just more special to me so I'm hoping and praying that I love it just as much this year so I might even wear this one tonight to bed I'm really really excited to wear this fragrance again Oh my God, I'm so excited for this tray, you guys. I'm so, so excited. So next one I'm going to bring out is one that I just did not love when I first get it. And lately, I just feel like this is a spring must have. And this is Dolce & Gabbana L'Imperatrice. So we are full on spring fragrances. I'm so excited. I'm feeling all of them. Cannot wait to wear this this year. And I think I'm going to like this one even more. I just smelled the cap and I'm so excited. Next up is one that I want to know if I'm going to keep in my collection or if I'm going to declutter just because this is a really nice one, but I'm not sure if it's like one that I need in my collection at the moment before my move. Here I have Guerlain Limon Verde. And this one, I decided to try this one because of my love, Tara Michelle, Opinionated Sense. And she spoke about this one and I remember getting it and just loving this for a hot day. Super refreshing, but I think I might like the coconut fizz better than this one. So I am going to just wear it this spring. I'm going to layer this with a Dove cucumber body soap and just that type of body care it's just like a very uplifting refreshing scent so it, it is really really nice it's like you're literally smelling limes and like cucumbers or something <laughs> it's a really nice refreshing spring scent but i feel like it's definitely not for everybody for sure next up is one that could be an example of what is happening i reviewed this fragrance last year it was so gorgeous so powerful to me so strong so sweet there's pear in here it was just like such a winner for 
for me when I got it. And a year passed by. Here is the one that I'm talking about. And this is Burberry Her EDT. As you can see, it got a few uses and then I put it away because it was, I believe, fall time. So then this year I was just like, yes, I'm so excited to use Burberry Her EDT. And I sprayed it a few weeks ago and it was so different from what I remember. I got a lot of freesia. I believe it was freesia or like something kind of like sharp, like a strong white floral. And I almost got that sour type of vibe that some of you told me you got and I never got that. So it was a little sharp that day. So this is going to be like, like a month of experimenting with this and you guys are going to get updates on how it's doing how it's performing a year later so yeah super fun i cannot wait to update you guys on this one next up is another one that i remember i loved so so much about two years ago and every spring it, i take this out and i wear this and it's so refreshing and i love it i feel like this year i'm gonna use it and hopefully i can use this bottle up so that i can get another one once i move and this is versa Versace Versants. Such a beautiful, cooling, refreshing, a little unisex, but there is sweetness in here as well. I believe there's a fig if I'm not mistaken, but there is something that gives it like a sweetness. So I did choose this one over Chanel Chanso Fresh because that one would get a little too woody for me if you've ever smelled that one. This one to me gets a little bit more sweet in there along with that unisex vibe really really nice one next up i'm going to be adding escada miami blossom to the tray i have not played around with this one i featured it in a haul and then i put it away because i got this one like right before fall vibes and winter season and now it's like the time that i want to take this out and play with this but this also has pineapple so i have been really loving the michelle germain sugarful sunshine my favorite pineapple scent at the moment but I remember the pineapple in this one being super sweet and so yummy. So I'm, I cannot wait to play with this one this month and update you guys. Next up is this favorite right here. I think it's going to be kind of like a for lifer, but I just love this one so much. It makes me happy. It gives me memories of good times in my life and like my childhood and the ocean. I did spend summers a lot camping on islands and things like that. So super tropical memories, I would say. So every time I spring comes around, I just get so excited for this one. And this one is Giorgio Armani Ocean de Joya. It, this is literally like a sliced crispy pear and you're on a boat and you're literally in the middle of the ocean. So you're getting like that ocean air like just pure ocean breeze along with those pears. That is what this fragrance is to me, along with like a little bit of like your fruity shampoo or conditioner kind of like wafting around in the air. So that is what I think of when I wear this fragrance. Next up to just keep going along with the spring theme and all of the just juicy, fruity, fresh scents, I'm going to add one that also is musky and just sexy at the same time. And this is Kayali's Eden Juicy Apple. This is such a good one. I love using this one every time springtime comes around, but this one is also beautiful for fall, pretty much year round. This is a gorgeous, just easy to wear, very girly, feminine, fruity scent. I love it so much for just easy going days. Next up, I'm going to add a sexy option, a little bit deeper, something that I can wear if I go somewhere in the evening or something like that. And that is going to be Narciso Rodriguez must know our rose for her i got this recently and i've only smelled it a few times to give my opinion on it but i need to wear it and really like get to know it i think it's beautiful first impressions but we're going to see how it goes actually wearing it to different places and at different times so i cannot wait for my update videos next up i'm going to add one that i need to use up because it's discontinued it's one of my all-time favorite fragrances and right now it's so expensive to get a bottle anywhere and i keep saving this one because i don't want to run out and i feel like what i'm going to do is is not use it and it's going to go bad and I really don't want that to happen so this is Valentino Donna Aqua my favorite scent from Valentino and it is discontinued unfortunately all right so the next four that I'm putting on the tray are actually very tropical and these would actually work better right in the middle of summer and all of that but I do want to kind of make up my mind about these because I feel like all four of these are in the same 
family, they smell very similar. And since I'm trying to downsize, I want to pick the ones that I absolutely love out of these four. So let's begin with, I think it's three, not four. Okay, yeah, it's three of them. So the first one is going to be Kayali's Utopia Vanilla Cocoa. This is just a very beachy, tropical, white floral, buttery, it's coconutty. It's really, really pretty. And it just makes me think of like an evening on a vacation night in the summertime, but like the evening, almost nighttime. I've never really pictured this one as a daytime tropical scent, but definitely as a kind of like, let's go to dinner while you're on vacation and you're in a restaurant that you're sitting outside and there's like this breeze. This is really nice because it's sexy, feminine, but tropical at the same time. So I really like it, but I remember not really being crazy about it when I first got it. So I started to like it more and more with time for sure. So I'm hoping this year I like it even more. Let's see what happens. The next one would be Tom Ford Soleil Blanc Eau de Parfum. So I think I preferred the EDT version of this and I did have that one before this one and that was before I was on YouTube. So I've never really talked about the EDT version on here, but that one just felt a little more refreshing to me than this one. This one has a lot of white florals in here and it's beautiful. It smells very expensive, luxurious. You're in a resort, in a hotel, like in summertime, somewhere tropical, but you want to smell expensive. That's what this reminds me of. And then the third one is a discontinued fragrance that I really love and it's in the same DNA. And the third one is going to be KKW body, poor thing, she's been through it. Let's not look at her tatas or, or her butt. <laughs> this is a really, really nice one as well. Same vibe as the Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, same vibe kind of like as the Utopia. They're all kind of in that same category. And I really love this one. And I do remember this one lasting a long time, but I have not worn this one for months. So I'm excited to play with this one again. This month, I also want to add Montal's Crazy in Love. I recently got this from Twisted Lily and I'm very, very excited to get to know it better. So this month, I'm definitely going to be playing around with this one and letting you guys know full updates on how it's going for the month. So I'm hoping that you guys are liking the fragrances that we're gonna focus on this month because this is kind of turning into like a thing on my channel to get these certain fragrances and really dive deep into them and talk about like our experience with them sorry about my kids they're being a little loud today but yeah i just really like this so these are the ones that we're gonna be really going in and just talking a lot about them this month next up is another one i love so much and every time i take this one out and i wear it even if it's just once because i don't wear it a lot but every time i wear it it's just so magical and i love it so much and this is one that's very polarizing and this is hot couture by Givenchy. love this so much this is like a very hot girl that loves to ride motorcycles and she has like an edge to her and she wears like a cat eye with a very bold red lip and a leather jacket it smells really good and really really sexy all right next up i want to add two clean reserve fragrances i'm going to be adding the latest release which is sparkling sugar i'm going to be adding this to the tray one of you guys requested that i do a comparison video between sparkling sugar and radiant nectar so i was going to put radiant nectar on the tray but i already have a lot of fragrances so i'm just going to put this one out and then i will make it a point to wear radiant nectar one day and that way i can do a comparison video of, of these two and I have another clean reserve fragrance and this one is Solar Bloom. This one also has like a smoky vibe to it that just makes it super nice. It's like warm, but inviting and like kind of like re reminds me just of the sun. So I really do think that Solar Bloom is a great name for this. Next up, I want to put just two musky easygoing fragrances. So the first one I'm going to add is Glossier You. I really enjoyed this a couple months ago, a few months ago. And then another one that kind of is in that same family would be Dead Cool taunt i want to use this up as well trying to use up as much as i can so yeah this one's another like relaxing musky vanilla fragrance so this one doesn't have as much vanilla the glossier one but the taunt is a little bit more on the warm vanilla side next up i'm going to add victoria's secret 
teas, sugar fleur. This one is a very surprising scent because it's affordable and it lasted on me for a very long time and it was just very easy to wear, girly, flirty, sweet. Just a really, really nice fragrance. So I'm excited to wear this one again this month. Next up, I'm going to be adding Jimmy Choo's I Want You Forever. I want to get to know this one a little bit better because I feel like I like it a lot. I love the vibe that it gives, but then at certain times, I don't know if I love it so much. I don't know. It's very weird, but I do want to wear it some more to see if anything has changed. But I do really love it. I recommend it if you love a beautiful dark cherry fragrance. I prefer this one over a lot of cherry fragrances that have come out. So I did like this one a lot, but there is like an earthy touch in here that some days I might not really be up for it, but I still find it very sexy and very nice. All right, next up, I'm going to be adding Commodity Velvet personal they sent this over to me as a gift and i did really enjoy it the times that i have tested it out so i want to wear it some more and update you guys to see if anything changes all right and then here is the last one that's one ounce the other ones are going to be travel size because it's already pretty full in there but this is replica and this is bubble bath i have been adding this one a lot to the trays and it's just because i want to finish it so this isn't one that i obsess over but i do like this for when i want to smell clean when i want to smell kind of like something that's a little aromatic and relaxing so i like to reach for this one but it's definitely a very very unique fragrance all right so i have these two uh travel size decants from sense gift i'm going to be adding mancera holidays i want to play around with this and get to know it better and also bdk parfums rouge smoking i remember loving this the day that i did like the first impressions video so i want to play around with these some more and then i'm also going to add sol cherosa 62 i believe i want to finish this off as well and i also want to finish this this one once i move i do want a full bottle of this one and this is dolce lily by dolce and gabbana beautiful tropical queen type of fragrance so these two are beautiful as well oh, that is the tray for march i'm super excited to have new fragrances on the tray the beginning of the month it's always so fun for me because it's like i just went shopping in my stash pretty much and i get to know these all over again see if i still feel the same way about them or if anything has changed and update you guys on it. So I think this is one of my favorite videos to film and I know a lot of you guys enjoy them as well. So thank you so, so much for being here with me today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you will be using any of these with me for March. That way, when I do the updates, you guys can also join. That sounds like a great idea and we can all talk about them. So let me know how you feel about that. So that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in my next video.